Northwestern University's Hibbert mummy contains the remains of a five-year-old girl who lived during the late 1st century AD. Her home was located in an ag, a cultural community in the Fayum Oasis just west of the Nile, at the crossroads of a fading Egyptian and growing Roman Empire. And on Monday, a team of scientists carted her off for a 24-hour session with a particle accelerator. The experiment at the Advanced Photon Source at Argonne National Laboratory used high-energy X-rays to further probe the material composition of numerous objects embed. embedded deep inside the mummy without damaging its remains. This is a far cry from the mummy unwrapping parties that were popular in Victorian England when Egyptomania gripped the nation in the 19th century. Performed in the name of science and entertainment, those crude experiments tore into mummies, destroying many specimens in the process. But times have changed, and so has technology. Our main motivation is to use the physical sciences to be able to unpack the technology of art, said Mark Walton, a materials scientist at Northwestern University and a leader of the project. We're trying to get into the mind of the artist to understand why they're making certain choices based upon the economics of the materials, their physical structure, and then use that information to be able to rewrite history. Instead of a golden, idealized, three-dimensional face akin to King Tut's sarcophagus, the Hibbert mummy has a more photorealistic representation of the girl's face painted onto a wood panel. The Hibbert mummy, photo by Northwestern University. The Hibbert mummy, photo by Northwestern University. These wood panel paintings, called mummy portraits, represent the largest surviving collection of paintings from antiquity. Preserved by the dry Egyptian climate, thousands of these mummy portraits have been found, but only a small fraction remain intact with their mummy. Why scan a mummy? The idea for a high-energy examination came after one of the co-curators, S.C. E. Ronco, stumbled upon a fully intact mummy, with portraits still attached, at the Garrett Evangelical Theological Seminary on the Northwestern campus. We had a whole intact mummy right here on campus, Walton said. The museum community didn't know it was there. A wealthy Chicago family, the Hibberts, had financed Egyptian excavations in the early 20th century and received the mummy as a gift, which they donated to the Theological Seminary. In a stroke of luck, the mummy originated from the same region of EGY. PT is the portraits that the team had already been collecting for the exhibition. Several mummy portraits also discovered in the Fayum Oasis. Photo by Phoebe A. Hearst Museum of Anthropology. Several mummy portraits also discovered in the Fayum Oasis. Photo by Phoebe A. Hearst Museum of Anthropology. Walton and a colleague from the Classics Department, Taco Terpstra, enlisted the help of Undergra. Dwayne and graduate students in analyzing the mummy's material makeup with a variety of specialized scans. Olivia Dill, a first-year art history Ph.D. candidate, is helped conduct a CT scan of the Hibbert mummy to discern how she died. With no visible injuries, the researchers think the girl likely succumbed to a disease.